right, so it's nice English weather outside, absolutely pissing down. We're at Morrison's and we're going to show you how to do vegan here. Let's go. Okay. So we've got some sandwiches behind us. It looks like there's some uh, bakery goods here. We're going to have a suss and see if any of that stuff's vegan. Uh-huh, these are made with pig's body parts, so definitely not. These are made with uh, bird flesh, so no thank you. These samosas are good. Dead fish, dead bird, eggs from dead hens. Avocado, olive and tomato. Check it out. The no turkey feast. Vegan Christmas special. Look at that. Nice one. How disgusting. They, what, they, they died in a blanket of their own blood. Like how they call it pigs in a blanket. There's nothing warm about being stabbed in the throat. Vegan sushi, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Murdered fish, vegan sushi. Falafel and hummus wrap. You can always go falafel and hummus wrap. This one's a vegan one. Bam. So just behind me is a little buffet where they've got all these little options, salad options and pulled barbecue jackfruit. I'll show you it. Pulled jackfruit, green noodles, beans. There's vegan options all along here. All right, last time I checked at every single supermarket I've ever been to, fruit and vegetables are vegan, and you need to predominantly eat those as the most part of your diet if you're gonna be a successful vegan for life. These are little vegan garlic breads. So if you can't be bothered making your own garlic bread, get to these ones. The hummus section, say no more. Vegan AF. All right, so in the bakery section, they're selling these foot-long vegan rolls. Check them out. A foot long vegan sausage roll. <laughs> Take that, Greg's. What? Where you get, get that in here? Look at it. It's bigger than my bloody head, hey? Big enough to fit in Pierce Morgan's mouth. Uh, vegan one? See, you yeah. can barely tell the difference. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, no, it's not. His mouth could fit about six of these in there. But look at that, I'm gonna grab one. It doesn't even fit in my bloody trolley. Look at the size of it. Go, Morrison's. Fruit and veggies, oh my god, potatoes. If you gotta eat potatoes. Sweet potatoes are healthier, like these contain so much nutrition, sweet potatoes, amazing, get them into you. This is the morgue section. This is the Hannibal Lecter, Hannibal the cannibal section, where all the babies are eaten, hacked up into pieces. Disgusting. We'll get out of the Hannibal section. If you want to know what the dairy industry does, it kills baby calves, and this is a veal liver from a, a young calf. They cut out their organs and sell it to people so people can eat their organs. If that isn't something out of a horror movie, I don't know what is. What do we got here? Falafel. The old corn, I always do the corn. I'm very good, oh, here we go. Oh, meatless farm mints, nice. Chili bean con carne, chickpea curry. This brand here is one of my favorite brands, Vivera. They got burgers, they got steaks, they got plant-based chicken, alternative. They're really good for Viveras, really, really good. Naked Glory, another another vegan mince, mince alternative. So Morrison's have their own vegan range. It's called Taste. Really, really, really good. Good work, Morrison's. That mozzarella, no mozzarella sticks. Yeah, good work, Morrison's. Got their own vegan range. Wow, oi, 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 oi. Come over here. Little vegan cocktail sausages from Gosh. Wow, vegan friendly. Good work. More falafel. This Gosh, I've never seen this Gosh brand. They must be exclusively at Morrison's, but look, they've got mushroom burgers, they've got little uh, veggie sausages as well. Nice, they're mixing everything together. Oh, I didn't see those, beetroot burgers as well. Slow cooked murdered animal, gas chambered pig, horrible. All this cured meat. Type one carcinogen, processed meats. Get rid of it, don't feed it to your kids, get them the vegan version. Much healthier and so cruel, disgusting. This here, is the leg of a baby lamb. Like they just covered it in gravy and frozen it. Little baby lambs being eaten for Christmas. How horrible. Let's see what they've got. Let's see if they've got any vegan cheese around here. Ooh, ooh. So this is the non-vegan brand of this Ginsters. But they've also brought out, if you see these, if you see Ginsters brand, they've got vegan pasties now. Boom. And they're pretty good too. Pork pie, disguised murdered body inside of a pastry. They've hidden more like, so look, here's a, a brisket of beef. So it's a big bloody package of a hacked up cow, like basically in this package here. But right next to it, like literally right next to it, this Gosh brand, vegan brand, sweet potato pakora, broad bean and quinoa bites, spinach and pine nut bites, Tuscan vegetable bites, more falafel. 
And all below here, murdered animals, sliced up little bodies of turkeys, minced up pigs turned into, minced up chickens turned into frankfurts. And they don't even hide it, look. They don't even hide it. Three baby chicken, three little baby birds. This is their resting place. This is their coffin. I know for a fact that Corona is vegan friendly. There you go, Christmas time, suck down a few Coronas. Put a lemon in there, lemon's vegan. Corona's vegan friendly. Just check your alcohol. There's a good web website called Barnivore. I believe it's called Barnivore, but we'll flash it up on the screen now. I'm pretty sure this recordling brand is vegan friendly now. I'm pretty sure. Double check that before we post this, but vegan friendly cider. How can alcohol not be vegan friendly? Because they use fish bladders and all that to filter it, like the wine and just entrails and stuff in the filtering process. So check out Barnival. Let's roll. Christmas is coming up. People like to have a bit of a wine. I don't drink alcohol because you don't want to see me drunk. Pretty sure vodka's vegan as well. Uh huh. Merlot. So here's a Merlot that's uh, labeled actually vegan. Thank you, Morrison's. Let's roll. I'm trying to find some vegan cheese around here. No, this is not good, no good, no good. Doesn't look like there's any vegan stuff here. I've got a good vegan radar too, I can see it a mile away. All looks like breast milk, coagulated breast milk from here. Oh wow, look. If you want to get super cheap stuff, look at this. One pound for a bag of lentils. Look at these pinto beans. Chuck them in the pressure cooker, boom. Or if you don't have time for a pressure cooker, here's some already done, microwave them up. Boom, a few lentils. All these beans are super cheap, right? And you can buy them in bulk, save money, or you can just grab them, grab a can of beans or whatever, but you know. This vegan roll in the bakery section uh, down the other side. It, uh... But Joey, what if I wanted to uh, biscuit with my tea? My cup of tea? Uh, everywhere in England they're drinking tea. I want a tea, a cup of tea, and I want a biscuit with my tea. Pretty certain actually that these digestives are vegan friendly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oreos, vegan friendly as well. Treat yourself, I wouldn't eat too many of these though. Oh, they got golden ones as well. For the kids, party rings, vegan friendly. Hit them up. Yeah, Ritz, Ritz crackers, they're good to go as well. As long as you don't get the cheese version, but these version, they're good. I always use this brand. Um, if I'm gonna get smelly and dirty, this is good for cleaning. This original source brand, all of their products are vegan. So even when you get like the creamy ones, you know, vanilla and raspberry. Thank you. Yep, these are vegan friendly. Uh, uh, this, even this foaming version, they're good, fantastic. They're always cheap. So this is a method brand saying it's plant-based, but is it cruelty-free? Just because it's made of plants doesn't mean it wasn't tested on animals. But I'm pretty sure animal testing for cosmetics is outlawed in the UK. Committed to sustainable practice. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't say anything about being vegan, so if it ain't vegan, it ain't sustainable. All right, so behind me here is the world food section. So you've got pasta, Mexican rice, you've got all those things you can make, super cheap pasta, rice and beans. Like, I don't have to tell you, you can cook some pasta in a pot and put some veggies in there. You can cook some rice and beans and make a wrap with it. That's all down here. Pasta sauce, all that stuff, it's usually vegan friendly. Wraps are usually vegan friendly. They don't usually put milk in wraps. Just a quick check can sort that out. It's like if you're on a budget, like I've said it before, big bags of rice, big bags of rice. Cheapest food per calorie on earth. Look at this, three for one quid. Three of these for one pound. Amazing. This stuff here, TBP, textured vegetable protein, which is just soya. This is just soya with the fat removed. It still contains all the fiber, the nutrients. Amazing nutrient profile. Way more protein and much better than flesh, they're really good and it still contains fibre and a much better nutrient spectrum than meat has. So if you tap this into a chronometer, just check it out, it's really good. Now this is for a bolognese, this for a curry, really good. But add flavour to it because it's bland, you know. <sighs> Here it is, the notorious breast milk section. So much suffering in this section. Oh wow, thanks Morrison's. Comes from cows who graze for a minimum of 120 days a year. So the rest of the time they're in a barn being fed um, crops. They get, they get to graze. And then what happens to them after that? What happens to them after you take the children away and take the milk from them year after year? What happens to them? They go to the slaughterhouse. Thanks, Morrison's, far, from, for farmer's milk. What does that mean? It means nothing. This is disgusting. Look at this. Gentle goat's milk. Oh my God. Or did you gently steal their young away from them? Did you gently rape these goats? You know, real sick, eh? 
Did you gently bolt gun them in the skull and cut their head off? Gentle goat's milk, how disgusting. Here we go. We're going to do the step. And we're here. Plant milk. So much plant milk. Oh, one pound a litre. One pound. Don't like almonds? Soya milk. One pound a litre. Morrisons have even jumped on board. They've got their own vegan branded uh, soya milk. Go Morrisons. Boom. They've also got cashew. One pound a litre. Don't like cashews, that's okay. Morrisons have got you hooked up with hazelnut. One pound. We've even jumped on the oat milk train. Wow, go Morrisons. Chocolate Oatly, film. Have you ever seen these little cold coffees you can get? Our pro have bought out their own. Check it out. It's almond milk, it's coffee. It's a quick go-to little thing. Ethiopian coffee and soya caramel blend. Boom. Hit it up. Hit it up. Okay, so obviously here we go. My friends, the legends at Alpro are just taking over. Look at them. They got a whole section here, just Alpro yogurt. And who's coming in close second? It's the Morrison's brand. They got vegan cheese here, mozzarella. They got their Edham slices here. Edam? I don't know. Who's tried this? I haven't even tried this. They got Red Leicester here. Morrison's kicking goals. They are kicking goals here. Go Morrison's. Oh my lord, have mercy on the gods. Vegan friendly soya whip. Pour a bit of that on your Alpro. Only on a special occasion though, boom. And of course, yeah, we've got the single cream. I always show you this, but it's really good to reiterate that Alpro has some amazing stuff. Down here we've got Violife, 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 Violife. And yeah, over there we have exploited murdered dairy cows. Make the right choice, let's roll. Okay, so just be careful with candies. They contain pork gelatin, which is really sadistic and weird. Jelly tots, vegan friendly, okay? For the kids, or for the big kids. Here we go, I've seen these candy kittens, be careful. Um, these are vegan friendly, but just be careful. Sometimes they use, I don't know what they use, beeswax, so they're not all, all of them are, ve are vegan friendly of these brand. Vegan marshmallows. So if you wanted to make a little vegan hot chocolate on Christmas and put a little few marshmallows in there just to be cool, do that. Check vegan, ca check candy, all, all the time checking candy. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, so Skittles are vegan in the UK. No problems there. Do they have a butter alternative for people? Here we go. Dairy free pure. Um, if you want butter, I don't use this stuff. It's coagulated oil, but if you wanted to have butter on your toast, go the dairy free one. There's no animal products in here too, so they're good. It's whether or not you want to be, um, having coagulated oil, but it's none of my business. Looks like the free from section is getting filled up. The free from section in every supermarket will always have some good stuff. Look at this. One pound for vegan mayo. Go hard on the vegan mayo. This is a good one, chipper. We've also got a vegan salad cream. Amazing. Put that on your salad. They got these little um, Amy's Kitchen cans of stuff here. Cheesy sauce mix. I always show you this chop pot because it's delicious, that's why I show it to you. The naked bars haven't been put away yet. Ooh, little vegan Christmas bites. Go Morrison's. Vegan Belgian dark chocolate truffles. Vegan friendly. Chocolate. Boom. Oh, I've seen these before. Little mini moves for the kids. Boom. Fudge bites, dairy free, these are good. These are little crunch bites, what are these made of? I don't know what they are, but they're delicious. Some crackers, vegan Morrisons, go vegan Morrisons, here we go. Oh, and the free from section, Christmas mince pies. Go hard Morrisons, bam. They've also got a little Christmas cake. Oh, is this vegetarian, is this vegan? Oh, it's vegetarian, why did you do that to us? It's got eggs. Damn it, you did so well. Why? Anyway, cute, aren't they? I might even get a couple of these, eh? Just to give them out. Cool. And there's a bunch of other stuff here, like just have a sus here. There's like deliciously Ella, she's got a little vegan range as well. She's got a bunch of stuff if you find her. Oh, cool. 
even Morrison's here in the free from section, they have pea protein, which is pretty cool. If you're training, you want to add a little bit of extra protein. Or instead, you can use some peanut butter powder, which is really cool for a little bit of extra protein. Dairy free chocolate chips as well. If you're baking, um, these are good for baking. Bunch of other dairy free chocolate down here as well. Okay, this is one of my favorite sections in the supermarket. The frozen section. This is where the ice cream dreams are made, or nightmares, depending on which one you choose. So this is the nightmare ice cream. This is the ice cream dream. Ben and Jerry's, vegan. Not all of them are vegan, just check for the vegan one. Boom, the rest of those are nightmares. Oh, Morrison's got a little vegan section here. They got meat-free chicken-style skewers. Check this out. Boom. They've even got, what the hell? I've never seen this. They got barbecue jackfruit burgers in the freezer section here. Wow, little spring rolls. They've got the vegan vegan sign on there. Go Morrison's, you bloody legends. Look at these. Little little burritos as well. Little chili burritos. Christmas is coming up. If you're having a little party, look at this little party piece. 50 piece Indian vegetable selection. Amazing what you find in the freezer section, eh? The rest of that is murdered, tortured animal body parts or secretions stolen from baby calves, so leave that. Yeah, like Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, they should have also Cruelty Watchers. That's what a vegan sign is. That's what I am, the Cruelty Watcher. They're not vegan, by the way. Hacked up murdered body parts, frozen in a morgue. Disgusting. Yeah, minced up body parts and stuff. Gross. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, check out the vegan range. All these little meat-free burgers. Sausages, vegan. Morrison's have got a huge vegan range. I'm very surprised at this one. We're at, we're at the one in Camden. Camden Morrison's, boom. Meat-free burgers. They've got a killer vegan range. Go for it. Like, why isn't this all getting bought out? Go hard on it. Ah, uh, these are not vegan. Sorry, Linda. Linda McCartney's always got a bunch of vegan stuff. Just, if you're ever gonna grab Linda McCartney stuff, make sure you check for this little sign here. Suitable for vegans. Oh, mercy. 360 calories a tub, our pro, yum. Um, here we go. Gluten-free, milk-free. Bam. These are vegan friendly. Pretty sure. Oh, jacket potatoes, these are cool. If you don't have much time, these are frozen jacket potatoes. Chuck them can of beans on top, bit of vegan cheese, boom. All right, I think I'm done in the freezer section. Ready to roll out. We'll just pay for these and do a little outro. All right, so that was how to do vegan in Morrison's. This is Morrison's Camden. Huge Morrison's, but how good is their vegan range? You gotta check it out. Absolutely, I was so surprised. I didn't know what I was gonna find in there, but if you have a bit of a look around, you know, you might even find yourself a foot-long vegan sausage roll. Boom.